This is the Keymove 61 Snowfox, a pretty compact keyboard from Keymove. Now, you might be looking at this keyboard and thinking to yourself, this looks a bit small even for a 10 keyless and you'd be correct. This is a 60% keyboard, an even smaller version with more of the keyboard on the right chopped off. It's my first time not only using this kind of keyboard, but also using a wireless keyboard. Yes, my friends, this keyboard can go wireless. Not to mention, this is the first time I'm reviewing a keyboard altogether. So this should be interesting. Now, before we get into the review, uh, full disclosure, I will say that Banggood sent me this keyboard to review, though they're not asking for any sort of compensation or paying me for the content. And as always, with all of my videos, everything is of my own opinion and unbiased. With that out of the way, let's get to reviewing the Keymove 61 Snowfox. So the Keymove 61 Snowfox is the name of the white variant of the Keymove 61 Twins with the black version called the Shadow. As I mentioned before earlier, if you want to, you can use this keyboard wired with a USB Type-C cable, which they include, or wirelessly via Bluetooth 5.1 with support for up to three paired devices, whether it's a Windows machine, an Android phone, an iPhone, or a Mac. Speaking of Mac, there's a switch down the back where you can change the key mapping from Windows to Mac and vice versa, and being wireless also means that it comes with a built-in battery inside of it, a pretty beefy one in fact at 3000 mAh. Keymove states that this battery capacity should last you 15 hours of consecutive use, and if you hold down the FN key, the right out key lights up with the battery level. The keycaps are PBT double shot keycaps, meaning that they feel really good and solid to touch and have really clear RGB LED illumination. There are several different lighting modes for you to choose from. Uh, you can speed up or slow down the effects and adjust the brightness of the lighting, including off if RGB isn't really your thing. The keys underneath are Gatoron Browns and you can also choose from red or blues, but what makes this keyboard really special is that if you decide that maybe you don't like Gatoron Browns and would like to try something else, you can just remove these switches itself and stick in a new one as all of these switches in this keyboard are hot swappable. This makes this keyboard really awesome for keyboard enthusiasts or people looking to try out different types of switches as you can easily swap them out without having to fiddle with any soldering irons. The entire board itself is extremely solid, heavy and well built with no flex whatsoever and not only does this help with the build quality but also the typing experience as not only do the keys feel really good to press on, they're extremely silent even compared to my main keyboard that used the exact same switches. Have a listen. Because of this, I really enjoy typing on this keyboard, though just about the only thing I didn't really like was the size of the keyboard as I'm not really that used to a 60% keyboard, but that's more of a matter of personal preference and ergonomics as it doesn't have a wrist rest. You can even game with the keyboard, though you'd probably want to use the keyboard in wired mode as I noticed that there was slightly less latency and while in wired mode, the keyboard also supports anti-ghosting. To get the most out of the keyboard, however, you can download the software from the Keymove website, but here's where it gets a little bit disappointing as I needed to create an account just to download the latest software. And using the software, you can adjust the RGB lighting, remap keys, assign macros, and have application-specific key mappings, but I never figured out how to do that because I found the software pretty confusing and difficult to use. It also, for whatever reason, wants to record my audio stream, which is a bit suspicious, but nothing happens if I click on block. To sum things up, I wrote this entire script on this keyboard and I absolutely enjoyed typing on it as it just felt really good and solid and just so satisfying that I ended up pairing it with my laptop to type on there, as well as my phone to chat. 
just because it's so satisfying. If you're someone who uses or is looking for a 60% keyboard or an enthusiast who enjoys tinkering with your keys and swapping them out, I can definitely tell you that you should look out for the Keymove 61 keyboard as I can really highly recommend it. Banggood would also like me to let you guys know that they are running their 99 VIP day sales very soon on the 9th of September and so if you're interested in snapping up this keyboard for yourself, you can find some pretty good discounts then. I will put a link for that in the description down below because you can get a good deal on this keyboard at about 72 US dollars free shipping as opposed to the usual 90 from Amazon. A pretty good deal if you ask me because you can't even get the Snowfox variant that I'm using over on Amazon it seems. Anyway, with that said, I'm going to call it on this video. Feel free to like it, uh, share it. Comment down below on what you think about it and don't forget to subscribe and stay notified to me with the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any future videos. My name is Yang the Tech Rodent and I will catch you guys in the next review.